I'm Cliff Pryor. I run Unlimited, which is the foundation for social entrepreneurs in the UK. And I also lead the Global Social Entrepreneurship Network, which is a learning network of organizations like us uh, around the world. Well, I think we've seen that um, the old model of, you know, you have enterprise, it does uh, some good things but some bad things, mm -hmm. uh, and then you take some of that money and you give it to a charity and the charity should try and put right some of the damage that's done. This is a tired model. People are fed up with it and increasingly, particularly younger people, say, well, enterprise should be social. Mm -hmm. um, why not do good and earn your living at the same time? Mm -hmm. So this is, a, this is a force of human nature. One in five new enterprises started in the UK last year was social enterprises. So this is what people just want to do. Yeah, it very much it answers, um, I think, many of the challenges uh, of society. And you know, the, the using entrepreneurial methods to solve social problems um, offers the opportunity for people who live with a disadvantage or a problem to be part of the solution, to come up with their own ideas about how those those problems can be solved and that's way better than somebody else just sort of throwing some money at you to um, because if you can start to take control yourself um, you may come up with better models but you're in charge of your future mm -hmm. I don't think any of us like to feel like we're a victim mm -hmm. uh, and social entrepreneurship offers the opportunity for people to step up even from the most disadvantaged backgrounds from all backgrounds mm -hmm. to be part of the solution What's happening is it's going into the mainstream. Mm. And now it's out of anybody's control. Uh, lots of people coming in with different ideas and different methods and um, it's much more diverse. Uh, it's much broader. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, enterprising non-profits and we have social enterprises and we have social businesses which distribute profit. Uh, we have major companies becoming more social. It's much... Um, broader, it's a much bigger part of the of society and of the economy. And I think that's great because I think when it's the, it's the point at which you can't keep up mm -hmm. uh, with all the new developments, all the new ideas and, and, and so on, that's the point where you know this is for real. Mm -hmm. Nobody's making it happen, it's just happening, it's organic. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly when we work with, uh, with new social entrepreneurs, um, you know, they, they invent their own path, they invent their own future, and everybody who joins this movement makes it even stronger, even more diverse, uh, and even more wonderful. Mm. Well, I think um, uh, we've, we've now supported directly 12,000 uh, social entrepreneurs in the UK, and we, um, we have pretty close-up experiences with them, so we, we, we hear what, what they say by way of their story, and we also do a lot of data capture. So we know, for example, that if we support a thousand new social entrepreneurs this year, in three years' time, there will be 1.2 million people benefiting from those thousand social entrepreneurs. Uh, three quarters of them will still be running their venture. Uh, another 9% um, will be on to the next venture. Mm -hmm. So only about 15% dropped out. Maybe they'll come back later too. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be employing people. They'll be creating social benefit and social co cohesion, bringing society together. They'll be innovating. A third of them will have had their model copied by other people, replicated, mm -hmm. um, showing innovation. We find that social entrepreneurs are most successful mm -hmm. if they do what they love. Mm. Okay, so this sounds a bit s strange. You're a social entrepreneur, but you're being selfish. You're doing what you like doing, mm -hmm. but it's. You know, if it's something you're really passionate about, you just really like doing it, or it touches something personal to you. Maybe somebody in your family had this problem. You don't want anybody else to have that problem. You are determined uh, to change the future for other people. Um, this is what keeps you going. It's mm -hmm. like having a, you know, a sort of atomic power plant yeah. uh, inside you. Can, if I can say a little more about this. Sure. See, I see social entrepreneurship as uh, a fully human endeavor. You know, mm -hmm. people think about business skills. They think about their head. You know, you've got to be business savvy, and that's true. And I've just said you, you've got to have your heart in it. You've really got to have the passion mm -hmm. for what you're doing it. But it's also very hands-on. Mm -hmm. You really have to listen to advice. Mm -hmm. You have to keep your eyes absolutely focused on what's going on in the real world, in your market. Mm -hmm. 
you need your voice to communicate your mission. You've got to inspire people to join you and buy from you and, and, and support you. And you need the guts mm -hmm. to never give up. It's a fully human endeavor. Mm -hmm. And that makes it, you know, it makes it really tough, mm -hmm. but it makes it incredibly exciting and fulfilling. Um, there is no job that you could take in the world from anybody else that is as good as creating your own future as a social entrepreneur. Uh, for a social entrepreneur, well, number one, that you get started, and number two, that you don't give up. Mm -hmm. And I can't say how important these things are. If there are social entrepreneurs watching, get started now. Do not waste your time working on your business plan till it's perfect, because it'll never be perfect. Just get out and test the market for real. Small scale, it won't be right, but you'll learn more from the market test than you ever will from the market research. Okay, so get started and don't give up because you will hit bad points. You will uh, hit major problems. Mm -hmm. And the untold secret about enterprise success is that you don't give up. Mm -hmm. uh, roll with the punches, come back, try again, use every setback as a free training course to learn how to do it better the next time. So to anybody starting a social venture, I'd say get started, get started soon. Um, don't uh, try and perfect things, test it out in the market, learn how to improve it. Uh, see every step forward and every step back as a learning experience um, and understand that. Uh, look at yourself in an honest mirror and understand your strengths and your weaknesses and seek to build a team of people who cover your weaknesses. Don't get people who flatter you. Flattery is dangerous. You might end up believing it. You've got to know your weaknesses as well as your strengths. Um, so be your own most constant supporter because you need to keep your morale high. You need to keep your confidence, uh, but also be your harshest critic because if you ask the questions that other people will ask, and you ask them first, you'll have the answers ready. Um, believe in your true strength. Believe in your ability to overcome any problem that faces you. Uh, and be part of this fully human leadership movement of social entrepreneurship. You will have days when you regret it, but you will get through them. And if you do get through them, you will really feel fabulous about what you've achieved and what you can achieve for the future.